Uh, good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for joining our uh, Concero Digital Champion event uh, today. Uh, you'll be hearing from myself first, followed by Matthew, our uh, uh, Chief Technology Officer. He will share uh, his inspiration for Concero's service provision, our audit and action plans, and how the D Digital Champion program relates to both. Sorry, got a little bit stuck, uh, tongue tied there. Um, Hayley, our Chief Experience Officer, will outline how Concero's values contributed to the development of this program, which we're sharing with you today. And then we've got Lauren from Primary Goal, who will provide an overview of the Digital Champion Apprenticeship and the knowledge, skills and behaviours needed for achieving uh, the apprenticeship standard. Following Lauren will be Mark uh, from Tablet Academy. Mark will outline the bespoke training and support required to achieve the apprenticeship standard. And then last but not least, we'll hear from Caroline Pardo, who will provide us with valuable insight into her own uh, personal experience of completing the apprenticeship. And then at the end, uh, we'll have a questions and answers uh, session. There's some housekeeping, which I just need to run through to say that uh, this is a live event, uh, which is a one way video and audio. So uh, any participants uh, can't see or hear each other. And if there are any questions, please uh, type them in the chat and we will answer them at the end. OK, so I don't know about you, but um, when I see language, uh, as I do on this slide here, um, uh, when we talk about education technology, it sometimes puts me into uh, a state of anxiety and can feel overwhelming. And I'm sure most would agree that uh, COVID-19 has accelerated the adoption of cloud technology in schools and increased the number of computers connected to their systems, both of which provided a vital solution for school closures and lockdown measures. Uh, without a doubt, we're living during a time when advances in technology are happening so rapidly that it's hard to keep up. In fact, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadell said on the 30th of April 2020 that Microsoft had seen two years worth of digital transformation in two months. But as all of this new technology becomes a part of our daily lives, it's important to stop and ask, is this really making my life in school easier? And I often hear that technology can be super complicated and hard to understand. And I used to feel this way about maths at school. And my teachers told me that nothing was too big to know if I just grounded myself and worked at it one step at a time. And the truth is that as all these new norms within education technology, as they like to refer to it, evolve, a solution is needed that brings everything together to address the challenges in the world of EdTech. According to Google, um, Einstein said that we can't solve problems by using the same kind of thinking we used when we create them. And as Brad and I are out and about talking with schools, we find that schools are generally stuck between where they were pre-COVID and where they need to be and a complete rethink and approach to the way technology is procured, implemented and supported in schools is needed. Teachers know about teaching and learning, but don't necessarily have the technical expertise. Technicians have the technical expertise, but don't always understand the needs of teaching and learning. And this is why we feel our Digital Champion program is important right now, as it creates a hybrid role between the teaching and learning camp and the technical support camp by building in-house knowledge within your school. So together with Tablet Academy, our primary goal, um, Harvey, head teacher from Bantop Primary School, and Caroline, assistant principal from Bluecoat Church of England School uh, Academy, sorry, who are experts in their field, we have shaped a Concero UK digital champion program to help support teachers and learners in the classroom and navigate the digital landscape ahead of us. And I'm going to hand over to Matt now to take on the next stage of the event. Uh, hello, my name is Matt. I'm the new Chief Technology Officer at Concero and I'm really excited to talk to you today about the Digital Champion Programme. I've worked in schools for over 15 years now from a technician through to a trusted strategic lead of over 50 schools. I believe this programme is a missing link for many schools in truly embedding technology into teaching and learning. Concero has worked with our partners Tablet Academy and Primary Goal to develop an apprenticeship that will meet the needs of schools in this new era. The programme is for staff at all levels within a school environment and covers from leadership of a digital strategy to use of technology in a classroom. Utilising the Concero Audit and Action Plans, we work alongside your school and apprentice to understand how the new era of technology and adoption of cloud platforms can be harnessed by your staff. Your digital champion will work through a programme that has been explicitly designed for education, inspired by the Microsoft Transformational Framework and Google Workspace Best Practice. Throughout their interaction with their apprenticeship and Concero, the key themes of school success, leadership and policy, teaching and learning and digital environments 
we will ensure that your digital champion becomes a focal point within your school to help your digital transformation. Cybersecurity, safeguarding and GDPR are also focused on within the course, making sure any developments are suitable for education. At every step of the way, Concero and our dedicated teams can support you with the next steps alongside your apprentice and deliver projects and support to complement the work that's on the apprenticeship. Our support can also provide, provide the reassurance and confidence your staff need to fully adopt technology in this exciting time. I'm now going to pass over to my colleague Hayley, Chief Experience Officer. Hi everyone, I'm Hayley. I look after our customer experience here at Concero. So our mission is to deliver outstanding technology services, hardware and infrastructure solutions to all of our customers. Within this mission, we want to support change in the world of technology. This is where our very own digital champion programme comes in to support your school and our team. So why be a digital champion? We know that each of our schools are different places when it comes, they're in different places when it comes to their IT. So as Matthew's just said, this programme has been designed to cover your individual needs and it's not a one size fits all. By bridging the gap between education, IT and training, we can talk the same language and go on this journey together. So although each of our school's journeys will start from different points, we're certain that this role will keep everybody moving in the same direction. I've recently completed an apprenticeship myself and from my experience, some of it was relevant to my role at Concero and some of it was more of a tick box exercise. So we don't want you to have that same experience. By having our team behind you to support your apprenticeship, we believe that the outcome will improve children's IT knowledge and skills. The digital champion will be able to understand and share best practice of the current technology in school and also get to know other apprentices on the program and share ideas. As many of us here, <coughs> excuse me, are parents ourselves, we understand the importance of technology now, especially in the recent times. I can say confidently that the way my daughter's school adapted so quickly was very impressive, but I've also heard some stories where children's learning was impacted by schools not having the most recent knowledge to support their classes with the technology when everybody was working remotely. A digital champion would there if therefore be able to support the school whilst working in partnership with us. So with all of that in mind, I believe that having a digital champion in every school is achievable and we are really excited to be working more closely with you. I'll now pass you over to Lauren <laughs> to carry on from there. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name's Lauren and I'm the commercial manager at Primary Goal. I'd firstly just like to thank you all for attending today and listening to us all speak about our Digital Champion programme. So firstly, a little bit about Primary Goal. We are a digital apprenticeship training provider specialising in supporting education establishments. Primary Goal is really special to me as I've been instrumental in growing the business in partnership with key stakeholders such as head teachers, IT leads and managed service providers like Zero, to develop a programme that really makes a difference in schools. Primary Goal can support your school to draw down £13,000 worth of funding to support your staff with their digital CPD needs. This programme has been designed to support schools' digital literacy, the adoption of cloud technologies and online safety, all linked to your school's wide digital transformation strategy and obviously your Concero audit and action plan. You may already know someone in your school who might be suitable for, suitable for this programme. They tend to be passionate about technology, someone who has the responsibility for implementing your digital strategy, or it may even be yourself as a senior leader who understands the importance of using technology in teaching and learning. So looking at the programme itself, the duration is an 18 month programme with 15 months on programme delivery from us at Primary Goal and Tablet Academy and three months endpoint assessment. Those that want to go on the programme will work towards the Digital Support Technician Apprenticeship Standard. And to be eligible for the programme, your chosen individual just needs to have no prior IT qualifications. We would love to get a cohort of digital champions like yourselves so that we can have a Concero dedicated work based coach 
to work alongside you to mentor, challenge and develop your growth. We would like Consero to also be involved in that recruitment process so that the dedicated coach, as well as Consero, understands your vision for technology, but also understands your day to day challenges. This programme is a blended learning programme with a mix of flipped learning to complete, as well as virtual classrooms, which will all take place outside of school time. We appreciate flexibility is so important to you as a school leader. So all of our virtual classrooms are recorded for you to be able to catch up on anything that might be missed. This training programme provides you with 20% off the job training opportunity for you to focus on embedding your digital strategy and our delivery plan incorporates all of that 20% off the job training. We've spent a lot of time with Consero to really understand their audit and action plan and ensure that, only not only, ensure that not only the training you receive as part of this programme aligns, but also your practical projects that you will work towards in your school support in achieving your digital transformation strategy. The modules are inspired by the education transformation framework and include leadership and continuous improvement, digital environments for teaching and learning and intelligent environments to be safe, secure and compliant. If you could just move on to the next slide for me, that would be brilliant. Thank you. Thank you for that. And um, we also have a really exciting partnership, with Lloyds Bank, who would like to be a collaborative partner specifically for this Consero cohort. So firstly, Lloyds would like to support any school who does not pay into the levy by funding the training of the programme so that no school misses out due to finances. And the second benefit Lloyds bring to the programme is they would like to run a technology career development workshop for your students and teachers in your schools through their three programmes, the Skills Builder, the World of Work and Virtual Work Experience for Students and the World of Work Experience for Educators. These programmes help your staff and your students to better understand the jobs of the future. So I'm just going to hand over to Mark York now at Tablet Academy, who will talk to you about their involvement in the programme. Thank you. Good afternoon. Um, as Lauren said, I'm, my name is Mark York. I'm the CEO of Tablet Academy UK. Um, we are a team of educators with experience of working in the classroom with technology. We currently train over 40,000 teachers a year and support around 1,500 schools. And we're heavily involved in the Digital Champion programme. Um, we add a lot of extra value, but we are also involved in delivering the training to the educators that join the programme. So as part of the programme, you get some extra benefits from ourselves. One of them being our online training platform. As part of your learning, you'll be doing a lot of flipped learning and there's a lot of content within that platform that will help you with a qualification, but help you as well in your school. So there are things on there like online safety. There are courses linked to qualifications. There are webinar recordings from our most recent events up until the last two years where we're talking about issues affecting education and how technology can support those. As I mentioned, our team are experienced educators. They have worked in a wide range of schools, primary, secondary, independent, multi-academy trusts and even international opportunities. We work with small rural primary schools all the way up to ministries of education um, and look at strategies for that small primary school or for a country. So we have a wide range of experience in the team and what we try to promote during the programme is that you can reach out to that team for any kind of support you're looking for. That almost like ask the expert opportunity to help you move forward with your digital strategy and to bring your staff on a journey of digital transformation. Next slide please Nadia. The other two areas I'll highlight today is industry certifications. So within the programme and the Digital Champion has the opportunity to take some extra certifications. These can be linked to industry partners such as Microsoft and Google, as like the examples on the screen there. You can take both or you can focus on just the platform that is relevant to your school. And one of the biggest opportunities we bring along are additional funded programmes and other ways of saying free things. Um, so we partner with the big industry partners like those on the screen and we develop programmes that schools can access free of charge. Now, these will generally focus on consultancy for your leadership to help you with your transformation strategy, teacher training, 
to get your teachers upskilled further. So this isn't just your digital champion on the program. This can be all of your teachers within your school. And we also bring a lot of STEM focused products and projects to schools where we work directly with the students to open their eyes to the world of opportunities, careers within STEM industries and also creativity through our new partnership with Adobe. So by participating in the Digital Champion program, you'll get priority access to these programs and support from the Tablet Academy team and we're, we're here to help. So I do hope that we see some of your staff on the program soon. Afternoon everyone, I'm Caroline. So I actually volunteered to be here today to speak to you uh, this afternoon from sort of within the program of the Digital Champion. This is something I'm sort of mid-flight in, I'm not at the end yet, so I can't tell you the full view from the top of the mountain, but um, to say that, to find myself on the Digital Champion Apprenticeship Programme in the last couple of years, it's been, it's been unexpected to say the least. Um, my background in leadership is far more of the teaching and learning side of things, staff development, uh, line management of curriculum areas, that sort of thing. So a couple of years back when the boss sat me down and offered me the opportunity to lead strategic IT, uh, I thought, yeah, we can give this a go. But I would want you to know that I came to this with absolutely nothing in terms of technical expertise, technical knowledge, and that this leadership of this area, the strategic IT across our academy, has been by far my biggest challenge, the highest mountain for sure that I've needed to climb. And as I said, I can't tell you the view from the top yet, but I can tell you that the programme of Digital Champion has radically transformed the climb for me. Uh, the last two years, I think it's the world of strategic IT has been far more intense and far more um, significant than I could ever have imagined when I took this area of responsibility on. Uh, I first came across Primary Goal when I was looking for development opportunities for my own technical team in-house and uh, I enrolled them on their level four uh, network engineering uh, apprenticeship. A few months on, uh, an email sort of came through so would I be interested in the Apprenticeship Digital Champion programme? And at the time, I, I have to tell you, I was increasingly desperate, <laughs> if I'm truthful. It just, the world of IT just seemed like absolute chaos to someone like me. So many different things to get my head around. The questions like, I mean, what's a SAM? Why does it matter? What does it matter if it's nearly out of warranty? Uh, what's a WAP? And uh, when you want to improve your Wi-Fi because you're frustrated at the quality, what? What, what is a WAP? What's then a switch behind it? And all of these questions flying around my head, uh, managing a fresh team within that. And I remember one day hell bent on inventory, um, dragging one of my IT technicians around site, looking in all the deepest nooks and crannies of the school, uh, 450 floppy disks. There's, I, I don't even know how to get rid of those now. There's no one that will take them. So I want you to think of the floppy disk <laughs> as an image that shows how far there is still to climb, I think, and that schools in the last couple of years, maybe we've never quite been so conscious that perhaps we'd fallen behind a little bit in terms of our digital strategy, in terms of allowing technology to fully impact in the classroom to do its best for the students. So that's all to say that Concero are a technical powerhouse, aren't they? They are. And the Concero hive mind is, it, it genuinely impresses me. They know, Concero know that schools need support building their own bespoke digital strategy, a strategy that will fit their, their context. It needs to fit your context, your students, your staff and where they're at, your school, its priorities. That's to say that this is, this is not work that Concero can do for us. And it took me some time to realise that and to look further afield. And this is where the Digital Champion Programme has really transformed my ability to lead and to develop an IT strategic development strategy that's that's going to lead us forward. So this is where school leaders need to understand, I think, that Concero can't do this legwork for each and every school that they serve. This is where leaders need to be ready to front up, put the legwork in and be ready to go a little deeper if you really truly do want to see the potential of IT unlocked for your pupils and in your in your throughout your um, your school, your academy, your mat. So the programme has transformed my ability to lead effectively. 
it's given me three things that I don't think I could easily have found elsewhere. Firstly, uh, a much wider network. I have post-its um, that tell me where I can go when the desperate moments will still occasionally come when I feel isolated and all of this and, and desperately out of my depth at times. Um, there are so many more people that I can that I can yell out to and they come around quickly. Education specific input from Tablet Academy, I would say it has been so enormously helpful. It really has given me that basic understanding of the what what is a school network. I had zero concept. Some of the earliest materials I came about, um, I came across doing my online um, learning with Tablet Academy. There was one module in particular. I remember downloading a sort of visual um, and, it, and it showed me in picture form all the different components that made up the school network. And it was as if the lights just went on for me. And I began from there to be able to strategically form uh, my team's roles around that, to ask better questions of the experts around me and ultimately to make better decisions for my context, my students, the students that we serve and the staff that we work with. Primary goal, provide the structure around that, uh, the accountability, and they, they enable me to keep this area of myself. It's one hat that I wear in school. They enable me to keep it to 20%. Some might think on oh, apprenticeship 20% time commitment. Let me tell you, this strategic IT is an area of a school that could easily take up 60 to 80% of your time, if not 100. So making sure it sticks within that 20% time frame for me is a win. They also place around you the support. So the work-based coach just last week had to sit through a very uncomfortable conversation with my work-based coach, holding me to account. Karen, is that really where the, where the priority is? How has that moved forward since we last chatted? These are conversations that I appreciate that help me keep things moving, keep me prioritised correctly. So I think I wanted to share today that perhaps there can be a danger that schools may not realise how much something like this Digital Champion programme could do for you to help you unlock that potential in your context. That a digital strategy that will light up your teaching and learning practices, that will unlock sort of people's digital literacy across the curriculum and enable you to impact people progress positively. At the end of the day, it's a, it's a huge ongoing body of work. And I feel schools have fought so hard in the last two years um, to, to get up to speed where they may not have been before. And that my fear is that I might again be left behind if I don't fight to keep up or even ahead of the game. That digital transformation is rapid now and I don't see that pace slowing. But that's exciting because what it means that it can do for the students is immense. So I would just encourage you this afternoon to really think about who is the right person within your organisation to take on the Digital Champion programme. Find the right person and uh, explore it further. OK, so after you've heard from all of us today, we just wanted to know if we've got anything that we've missed or if there's just some general questions while we're all together and um, that we can help you with right now. So I think you just need to send them into the chat and then we can get the right person to get an answer out to you. So far, I think it's been mainly about the training and whether this takes place um, within the working day or after school. Um, so basically the training. Um, Mark, I don't know whether you want to talk a little bit further around this one because obviously it caters to the needs of people working in the school. Um, so I've replied privately to a few individuals, but essentially the way the training works is there are some live sessions which are delivered online and they take, take place after school. Uh, there may be the occasional session that you may need to attend during term time during a school day, but we try to keep those to a minimum. Um, the rest of the learning is accessed as flipped learning, so teachers can access the content as and when they would like to and they can drop in and out as and when they need to, um, so they don't have to find a complete block of time or a half day or any time off timetable to complete the learning. And there's a work-based coach that supports the learners through the programme, so they will help you manage that timetable and manage when and where and how you access the learning and attend the live lessons, which are also recorded if you do happen to miss any of those. OK, does anyone have any further questions? We've got 
we've answered those that have come through so far. So if not, you can always um, drop me a message after the event if something comes to mind and we have got some information that's going to come out to you. If that's everything, I can pass you back over to James. OK, thank you, everybody, for uh, joining us. This was our uh, this was our first live event. Um, so um, I've been asked to let you know that after this event, uh, we'll be sharing a recording of the event, including all the bloopers that you've all uh, shared with us, uh, a brochure with the details about the program, and then we'll obviously have a sign up form. So if you want any more information, you can complete the form and send it back over to us and we'll get in touch with you. And I think if there's no further questions, uh, that's the end of the event. So thank you very much, everybody, and uh, we look forward to speaking to you soon.